it's another match day vlog and this time it's Liverpool v Villa Royale in the Champions League semi-final. Another massive night under the lights at Anfield. They just don't get much bigger, do they? Uh, Jürgen and his Reds taking us to another semi-final in a European competition. Uh, never take these moments for granted. Absolutely brilliant uh, moment to be a part of. Hopefully an unbelievable atmosphere. Uh, European nights are just different, aren't they, Jürgen? Um, as for Villa Royale, we'll not be underestimating them. Uh, a really likeable club. I, I actually am very happy that they've made it to a semi-final. They can be seen as underdogs, but they've got a great manager there, a great philosophy, and um, you know they took down some giants, so most definitely won't be underestimating them. But hopefully the Reds do have a bit too much for them. Um, they obviously, I do like uh, Villarreal. Got much to like about them. They've obviously got Alberto Moreno there as well, which I don't think has recovered from his injury, so he won't be back playing against us. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely brilliant for them to come to, obviously, Anfield and uh, for all our travelling fans to go to theirs as well. So uh, hopefully a lovely game under the lights of Anfield. Hopefully a big win. Hopefully we can, you know, somehow uh, get three, maybe four goals against them. It's not going to be easy. I'm saying that in a hopeful mood. You know, I just want any advantage to go into the second leg. Uh, but Anfield, with the atmosphere that we've got and the, Anf you know, the atmosphere we can create... Um, this would be the time where if you're going to kill them in a the first leg it's going to have to be now uh, hopefully the Reds can do that hopefully it's a boss night um, and I'm sure the atmosphere will be brilliant before we do get to Anfield though please do like this video turn on your notification bell as well because we've got a massive run in until the end of the season more massive games coming up and obviously do like this uh, video uh, come on Redman
45 minutes till kickoff and I'm outside the ground about to try and get in. Um, it is the last European game at Anfield this season. Let's make it a boss one. Uh, I think everyone right now understands that. This isn't going to be an easy game. It's probably going to be quite frustrating from a Liverpool perspective. But we know that if we tire them out, Liverpool have the capability to score three goals in 20 minutes. Um, and hopefully we do. Hopefully we get some kind of advantage to take into the second leg. Uh, but come on, it's absolutely boss to be here. Uh, I'm so privileged to be a season ticket holder. Never take these games for granted. Um, and let's go and see what Jürgen and his Reds can do, eh?
tartar and it is pale nil. The red top have been not bad. Uh, it's just obviously very frustrating to try and break down an entire team. I don't know what this ref is on, um, but he's having a shot there. I'm not too sure he knows what's going on, to be honest. Uh, he needs to get a grip for this game and the time wasted. One minute added on and we had all three players down with injuries and all the goal kicks that we took. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's um, a bit of a joke at times. Someone did just try and get in on the video. That's really bad that happened. Um, as for the Reds, we've uh, at times been a bit too impatient. We've won the ball high up the pitch at times. And for being here, just tried the difficult passes. Just keeping it calm and collective. Um, we obviously need to speed things up when we get the ball in and around the box because um, we're not going to break them down with the slow passes but uh, it's much easier to set them done when you've got an entire full width uh, of a midfield in front of you yeah, um, to try and break down but yeah, they just need to keep going at it, pick the pace up a bit we've had some really good opportunities, some balls in very dangerous areas and their goalkeeper is awful, I've not seen them catch a single thing but they just need to have help balls on just have shots on them and you need to follow them in because he's not caught a single one. He's punched everything and everything that he's tried to catch, he's spilled and managed to jump on top of. The Reds just need to have some more shots at him and following up on the shot um, and hopefully we can get a couple of goals. But like I said, we've not, we've not played bad, it's just really hard to play a team like that now. Hopefully in the second half they'll be able to do it.
Back home now, the Reds did win 2 0, an absolutely class performance by them in cruise control in that second half. We made it look much easier. And like I said before the game, Liverpool have the ability to score several goals in only about 10 minutes. We scored two in about five, um, and we put ourselves in a great position. We could have killed them off, we could have killed the tie. Uh, we didn't, but that's okay. Uh, we've got a good advantage to take to Villarreal and hopefully we do progress to the Champions League final. Uh, to everyone who watches these videos, like, subscribes, uh, comments, thanks so much for the support. Um, hopefully we end up with a couple more trophies, even if it is just one trophy this season. This is the greatest Liverpool side I've ever seen in my life and it'll probably be the greatest I'll ever see. Uh, so just enjoy it. Um, till the next one, up the Reds.